What's going on, everybody? This is a, another Sekiro boss fight where my mic was off. And this is the one that needs commentary most of all, because I hate this boss. It took me eight minutes in this playthrough and roughly 80 previous deaths fighting this big poopy ape. And you can tell by my tactics. The first phase of the boss is the worst, because the second phase is actually quite predictable. And this time, I elected to buying as many spirit emblems as possible, and basically spamming every opening I could find with these fireworks, which is quite effective. It freaks him out. If you stay off his center line, you can just beat his ass like a bass drum. Uh, I start chasing him. You just gotta watch out. Those unavoidables there, there are three. Two of them are grapples. One of them is... What is it? I think one of them is a strike. But regardless, there's number one, that's the sweep grapple. Sweep grapple, he'll pick you up and chuck you like a toy. The other jumping grapple, he just barrels onto you. It's pretty fucking frustrating. I started taking advantage of... Oh, here comes a poop clod. A poop clod from the Poop King. Uh, I started taking advantage of jumping tactics. There's a mid-air combo. You saw me just jump off that dude's back. Just bully him through this first phase. Because the second phase, though easier, is arguably more annoying. There we go, we got the decapitation. No point using any buffs, just yet. It's my worst, my, my least favorite part of the playthrough is this little lull where it feels like victory, even when you know it's not. So, in this phase, his combos really aren't that hard to counter. The issue is, if you watch his other hand, anytime he puts this head back on, he's gonna do this stupid AoE that does damage to your posture, your health, and builds up the fright condition. So it's kind of like a waiting and watching game. Like you want to stay in front of him as much as he'll let you. But at any time, he'll just stick his head back on like an asshole. You don't have to dodge that uh, unavoidable sweep. You can jump it. But... If this boss taught me anything, it's that if it doesn't have an unavoidable mark on it, you can parry it. And every once in a while, if it's a thrust, you can parry it either way, but... You have to not be afraid of the size discrepancy. And just parry the shit out of this guy. That strike right there, that vertical strike, every time you parry that, he'll fall over. Also unfortunate uh, side effect of him not having a head anymore, fireworks are useless in the second phase. And it's just like a, a fucking slog fest from here on out. Do your damage so his posture doesn't come back. Just stay away. I kind of had a feeling that I was going to make it through this playthrough because it was the first time I successfully made it through phase one with like four, three or four gourds left. 
There it is. We want that parry. Beat his ass. Stupid sweep. That, that little diving, like, fish hook move is tricky in the beginning. Because it hits way late, but... I've previously died to these moves, like, probably 4,000 times, so I'm starting to pull it together. Here it is again. I love that airborne combo. I don't even think it does as much damage. It probably doesn't, but... Why not? Okay, there's another one. I forgot about the dive sweep. Um, I'm not sure if you can jump that. I always just get the fuck out the way. Because I'm not trying to play games. I'm trying to be done with this boss. That's like the B variation of his combo. One is like a simple swipe, 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 vertical, and the other one's like swipe, smack, smack. <laughs> when in doubt, run away. See, that was that quick de or reattach right there. He starts spamming it because he knows he can't win. Stupid fish hook move. Low sweep. So you can grapple onto those trees, but more often than not, he caught me at the end of it. So I just stopped doing that, unless I absolutely had to. I wish there was a way to break him out of that little AoE. It kind of allows him to set the pace of the battle. There may be a more effective way to fit in hits, but um, we're just going for tried and true incremental progress. It looks like that's the, the deflect that does the most posture damage as well. I know that in roughly 60 seconds, you're going to see a massive emoti freak out in the top right hand corner. I was so happy. One last sweep. Ha! Huh. I tried the fireworks. Where's it at? Last one. Yes. He's not going to survive this one. I think I, I think I serve up the double birds. Yep, there's one, and there's the other. Let's go. Y'all have a good night.